Hi everyone, today I wanted to share with you a few key tips of things to think about when you're implementing a new ERP system. So the first thing is really getting that buy-in from the key people in charge of your business, be it the managing director or the department heads. A good ERP implementation is going to touch really every aspect of your business and you're going to need those people involved early to provide you with the time, the resources and the support that you will need. While it'd be really useful for your project leader to have working knowledge of all areas of your business, that's probably a little unlikely. But it is advisable that your project leader should understand the different departments of your business, how they work together and their overall interdependencies. That way, when you're working through those intricate parts of an implementation, they at least know who they should consult with at different times to make the right decisions. Next up is the project team. A good implementation is going to cross many different departments and many different disciplines. And unless you wear all the hats in your business, you're going to need people involved from each of those departments. And ideally, the people who are living and breathing those areas day in, day out, to ensure that your implementation works long term. Next up is the planning of your processes. A good and well implemented ELP system will really serve as the backbone to your business. The ERP system and your processes should really work in harmony together, kind of hand in hand. But the system may from time to time manage a process in a way that is different to how your business has dealt with things over the years. But the key thing here is to really kind of take a step back and review that process, what you really want it to achieve. Just because you've been doing something the way you've been doing it for years doesn't necessarily mean it's the best way of doing it or the only way of doing it. Understand how the software supports your processes and see whether that will work for you, keeping an open mind. The more you can fully adopt the system into your business, the easier your implementation will be and the more successful it will be in the long run. It seems an obvious one this, but training. How can you implement a system if you don't fully understand how it works? But many companies try to do just that which is why at 123 Insight, we ensure that you are fully trained on the system before you even make that commitment to become a customer. So that A, you know that the system is going to be right from you, right from the beginning, and B, you have the best possible chance of a really, really strong implementation. So ensuring you have a targeted end date and a well-defined project plan. A project without a targeted end date is likely to drift and take longer. And remember, the longer your implementation takes, the longer you're going to be tied up, pulled away from your day to day job and the longer it's going to take for your business to really start reaping the benefits of that new system. Now, a really, really key one this just because you've gone live doesn't necessarily mean all the hard work is over. Now, you might be tempted to put your feet up on the table and go for that celebratory drink and maybe you should. A new implementation of an ERP system for your business is something that should be celebrated but just remember that potentially there's still some work to come. It can be very easy for a project team to quickly kind of disband after that go live date. But really, that's just the start of the process. It's only when you use the system in anger that you'll uncover what doesn't work quite well and what needs to be tweaked and changed. And it's key and important that you have that project team still around to really collect that feedback and then put those requirements and those changes in place. Another very key one, and arguably the most important one, is your people. I'm not talking here about your project leaders and your project team, we've already spoken about those. I'm talking about the people who are going to be using your system day in and day out to do their jobs. Don't underestimate the impact a new ERP system is going to have on those people. Involve them in the project as early as you can. A new ERP system should have benefits to both the business and your people. But often a new implementation can be met with anxiety or apprehension or resistance to change. And it really doesn't need to be that way. If you engage with your people early enough, if you bring them along as the project develops, and if they understand the benefits that they can get from the new system, it can all be avoided. So just a few quick tips there, things that I've personally experienced and things that will hopefully help you with your implementation. Now, there will be many more that I haven't spoken about here today, and I'd love to hear from you. So please leave your comments at the bottom of this video, and we'll be back with another short video soon. To learn more, visit our website or book to attend one of our free educational events. You'll even receive a free paperback copy of our book, How to Implement a Manufacturing System, just for attending.